It's that time of the week when I become a complete child, attentively listening to a story as, as though it was told by my grandmother or grandfather to me. Those were the days. And of course, I also turn on the working professional in me because I know at the end of that story comes a valuable marketing or communication tip. Welcome to Business and Leadership Stories, episode number 27 with the brilliant Sachin Bhandari from The Story Co. How goes it, my friend? Uh, season's greetings and I hope everything is well. Thanks, thanks and wish you the same, Rishi. And uh, I know you're politely trying to tell me that I look like your grandfather. Uh, that's why you love listening to my stories. I get it, I get it. I need to ah, work on you're my still, fitness. You're still like a spring chicken, my friend. <laughs> you know, it's surprising that this entire story would have stuff to do with OKRs. Google's famous OKRs, Objective and Key Results, are being used by companies around the world. And now, our company also uses OKRs. Mm -hmm. And your story is, what does biryani have to do with OKRs? Very intriguing, very quirky. Let's get underway. So, so I think this entire thought came to me when I was attending an industry conference, uh, specifically the advertising and digital marketing industry. Uh, great event, great agencies, great people, but I found myself uh, a bit bored uh, when I was listening to the panel discussions. And I was like, everybody uses jargons and stuff which does not make a lot of sense to me, probably because I'm on the sidelines, like I'm not really a part of the creative industry. I'm on the sidelines always. but that's how a lot of people are right and I was uh, then thinking of this gentleman called Girish Matrabhutam who's the founder and CEO of Freshworks uh, remembering this one time when he was asked a question about Biri about OKRs basically you know what he thought about the framework and he went on to use a biryani analogy he said that you know imagine Dindigul Telpakati biryani restaurant and how everybody enjoys this enjoys a plate of biryani whenever they are crossing that particular restaurant in Tamil Nadu. Now the restaurant is actually trying to build a global presence with restaurants in Bangalore, uh, you know, a lot of different places, Dubai, San Francisco as well. And that's where things like OKRs come into play because as a, a company, you need to figure out scalability, success, profitability, etc, etc. But the point is that you still need to go ahead and celebrate individual craftsmanship. So the person who's making the biryani needs to fake focus on doing a, or creating a damn good biryani you know that's what he's supposed to do he cannot sit and think about how many plates of biryani did i create and you know how many what kind of ingredients i used and how i should reduce my cost etc etc because once he gets muddled with that the biryani may not be so flavorful and the brand may eventually uh, disappear because of that so he says that the middle management has a very important role to play where they are celebrating individual people with for their craftsmanship whether it's a salesperson a biryani making person uh, whether it's somebody who's in marketing or any department for that matter and then marrying it with the company's leadership's objectives of growing uh, the brand or the company so he made this entire okr framework uh, sound like a delicious biryani and i remember his explanation and i'll remember it forever <laughs> fantastic fantastic biryani for life Rishi. yeah at a process level that makes it makes a lot of sense but if you could pinpoint the marketing and communication tip that we can take away from that story it'd be wonderful uh yes Rishi, i think something that girish matra Bhutam excels in and i think it's something again i i narrated the story to be able to uh take us back to the conferences that I'm attending. And I see that increasingly people speak a lot in jargons. Everybody's talking about the big picture all the time, but big picture needs to be a picture at the end of the day, right? And that's what Girish Matraputam does really well. He is able to use language which creates visual imagery in your mind. Now look at OKRs, OKRs for that matter could be a very boring topic, but he uses a biryani analogy and suddenly it comes alive for all of us. And we are thinking about the restaurant, the people, the biryani, and suddenly it's an interesting topic. So no matter what uh, you know business topic that you're talking about, at the end of the day, if you are speaking to a large audience, which may not understand everything that you're speaking, it's your job as a communicator to figure out how are you going to, uh, uh, to inspire visual imagery in people's minds. And that's something that analogies can do. Uh, something that uh, you know using other interesting topics can do so that's one important lesson from Girish Mathabhuta my belief. Well Sachin Mandari's win with stories newsletter is something that I really cherish 
lots of wonderful nuggets that I picked up from it. Where can people read your Winwood Stories newsletter? Also, yourself and the story go conduct workshops for organizations, for companies, for groups. And uh, this is on storytelling and the power of storytelling and the lessons we can learn. How does one go about reaching you for that, my friend? Your points of contact. Thanks, Rishi. Rishi, I, uh, the Storico actually delivers organization, personality and leadership development to the power of stories. Uh, if anybody is interested in running programs for their teams or also just call me for a keynote or an engagement session, they can get in touch with me via LinkedIn. Look for Sachin Bhandari on LinkedIn. Sachin is easy. Bhandari is P-H-A-N-D-A-R-Y. And on my profile, there's a link which says get in touch or stay in touch. So either you could uh, stay in touch through the newsletter that I write or, you know, just uh, go ahead and schedule a Zoom meet to discuss how we can help your teams. And we'll be back next week to hear more from you right here on this space. Bye, Sachin. Look, look forward to it, Rishi. 94.3 Radio 1.